hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you for subscribing thank you for keeping it here thank you for tuning in so today i'm going to make dinner i'm just from work uh, i just felt like i want to make dinner i want to make uh, black beans uh, in swahili we call them no, not swahili in uh, my language we call them jahe so I'm going to show you how you make jahe stew. It, it's a simple method. You can make it in different ways. So this is how I make it. I have it with japos. You can have it with uh, rice. Uh, yeah, I think rice will go well with it. Or spaghetti, yes. I forgot. Or you can have it with spaghetti. So keep here. Let's cook. So here we have the ingredients, we have the onions, potatoes, the black beans, one cup, uh, we have uh, carrots and uh, that is tomato paste. So let's start. So here I got my sufuria, I put the onions and like uh, about two tablespoons of vegetable cooking oil. Then uh, you uh, let the onions to simmer for a while until they turn a little bit golden brown. Then uh, I'll go and pick my tomato paste. I put the tomato paste in. I had put some little bit of water in the tomato paste because it's a bit thick. Uh, then I stir a little bit, uh, then I go on and put the carrots, I grated them, I like my carrots grated when I'm cooking the beans, then I'll go on and put spices, that's uh, mixed spices, like one teaspoon, then I get my black pepper, I go and I put like a table, uh, like a teaspoon, like then I stir a little bit, mm -hmm. then I go get my Irish potatoes which have been chopped and cleaned up, uh, washed. so I go and put them in here. And I stir a little bit, making sure that everything covers the potatoes when we are cooking. So, yeah, I stir for a while. Then I'll go and uh, cover with a lid and wait for about five minutes for the potatoes to simmer. Now, after about 5 minutes, the potatoes have simmered for a while. We just stir a little bit and then put on our black beans. So go ahead and put the black beans. And then stir again. So we we'll keep stirring and stirring and stirring. So we stir a little bit. Then Then we add a little bit of salt, Just a little bit, like half a teaspoon of salt, so maybe if you love more salt you can add more, so just that and then stir again, just a little bit for the salt to get into the potatoes. Then we again wait for it to simmer for a while. So okay, in this uh, uh, in this dish, I never used. Uh, you've noticed I didn't use any potatoes because I I, I didn't use any tomatoes. Sorry, because I didn't want to put tomatoes. But you can have 
your tomatoes if you love them you can put them so here again um, just taking so that the food doesn't burn i put some water so that i get my potatoes to cook well evenly i do uh, like one cup or one and a half cups yeah that's fine so just a little bit then you put on the lid and now wait for the food to get ready yeah Uh, now as you can see our food is almost ready you can see the stew is getting thicker you just get one a fork then uh, take one of the potatoes and uh, to know whether they are well done you do like that whatever i'm doing to make sure it's well done and uh, mine was uh, not well done so i had to give it a little a few more minutes like just two minutes so here is where i get to get my roycom choosing it i get my roiko and then i put it on that container i had with the tomato paste i put like uh, one tablespoon then i put uh, soya sauce then i'll put a little bit of water just like two after I put the soy sauce, then I put like uh, just a little amount of water, I stir in, then I put it in the stew. So you don't want to have your stew with lots of soup. You want the soup to be thick. So you get the, the, that mixer and pour it inside. Then I have my coriander, I put it inside there. So I had a generous amount of the coriander. Yes, that's how it is, guys. So I get it, I've already chopped it, I put it inside, and then I stir a little bit to give that meal that good looking greenish something i don't i didn't want my meal to be so flat like you know this is the only thing green thing i have here. so i put on some coriander and after like one minute i just remove this the, the, my meal is done so, that's all guys yeah. that's all you have to do my dinner cook, is yeah. done beans have my black yes. beans i have a glass of juice and i have chapatis that's what we are going to eat so yeah that was that's how i make my black beans stew you can have it with chapatis or rice or basically anything you want so i'm just going to enjoy my dinner thank you guys for watching it's fun having it baby oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah.